okay, Pop, we're gonna go on a tour of a different kind. I thought we'd take a tour of the pictures in our house, or some of the pictures in our house. I'm starting here in our bedroom. And this is Chris in Colorado, probably about 2006, 2007 time frame. He's jumping his first horse, Coco. That was a thoroughbred that he had. Um, and he's going over a giant log. Here's another picture. This is Chris's younger sister. Her name is Marsha, um, and she was younger than him. Uh, well, sadly, she passed away um, in the 1980s, but she was younger than Chris by two years. That's his younger sister. Here is a picture of Chris crossing a river in New Hampshire on his first horse again. That's Coco, um, thoroughbred that he once had. Um, he uh, it was his first horse that he bought in Colorado and he brought him to New Hampshire. Um, Coco unfortunately has lived to be the ripe old age of 24, which is very good for a thoroughbred. Um, that they live about to their mid 20s. This is our horse Babe when Chris took a picture on his cell phone that then became the front page of a magazine. So unfortunately when I had it framed they covered, they just covered his name or the film credit Chris Newbert. Um, photo credit Chris Newber, but yes, Chris took that picture, and that is our horse. Uh, this is just a really pretty uh, uh, painting we have, just a very authentic Florida scene. It reminds us exactly of Ludwith Prairie, where we ride our horses um, when we go to Bar Hammock. So we got this painting, and it makes us feel like we're on the trail. Okay, it's just moving around, moving around the room. To another picture, and this is Chris's baby picture. I think he was probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe six months old, maybe eight months old, hard to say, but that is Chris. That is, you've seen lots of videos of his older brother, Bob, but here is infant baby Chris. Thought you'd enjoy seeing that. And coming down, this is just, all. Oh, this is Chris's gallery. This is but just a tiny, Tiny sampling of everything that he's done in his career. He is with a, a pod of or, uh, dolphins, pod of dolphins, with a manatee in the Crystal River. Coming down the line, there's Chris at his computer. <laughs> What's this giant red thing here? Is that a lobster? Giant red thing. <laughs> yes, this. It's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. A little shrimp it's about a, an inch long. Inch long. Here's a school of barracudas. Woo, scary. He says you don't have to worry about barracudas. And I'm just going to kind of drift down the line here. This is Chris within feet of, oh, the, the reflection's kind of bad. Chris within feet of a humpback whale, the flukes of a humpback whale that he said it could have killed him easily, just karate chopped him like nothing if he knew that he was there. I'm just going to continue down the line. And you have pictures on every side of the hall, but just in the interest of time, I'll just do just do the one side of the hallway. Okay, there's some sea anemones. That is a wave from underneath. The glare is a problem. That's a wave from underneath. Um, this is just really up close on coral, lots of coral. And this, Chris told me, is part of a, um, a parrotfish, just zoomed in really close. And this is that same parrotfish, just a fin. You can just make out a fin, kind of impressionistic, very modern take on ocean marine life. There's his signature. And uh, this is really interesting, but Chris was one of the first people, was the first person to ever photograph orcas in the wild. Um, you see them, you know, in aquariums, and you see them uh, video, but to actually be in the water with killer whales, with orcas, Chris is one of the first, which is pretty amazing. I'm sorry about the glare there, so just continuing along the way, along the way, and coming around the corner. Got some other paintings here, but I just thought I would end this little tour on this picture.
picture. Oh, those glare. I am so sorry about that glare, but, but yes, that is, that is um, Chris's mother. She was about 17 or 18 years old. Um, lovely portrait. And uh, just a friendly reminder, Pop, if you haven't already, uh, get your stationery ready and send a nice note anytime you get a chance. But uh, that's just some of the uh, pictures in our house and hope you enjoyed the tour. Bye-bye.